And there you guys have it. There we get to get fish. Yo, what's up guys? I'm Blank a Hero, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Unreconciled Stars event. As we all know, is the official event. And the event is gonna be ending in a couple hours now. So by the time you are actually watching this video, the event will have ended. You will no longer be able to get the materials needed to buy the rewards and I will, we will go through the shop in this video that's but that's pretty much the premise of this video we're gonna discuss every item in the shop and yeah just to show you i'm like if for those future people that are watching and they wanted to know what you missed out on i guess i guess this is the video for you all right so let's go into the game here so as you guys can see you, you you're actually able to, uh, to wanna here at this location so if you press f5 on pc here, you get to the event page where you know where your events overview section is and then you get the unreconciled stars event. as you guys can see it's going to be ending in <laughs> two hours and 53 minutes basically three hours from now these are the possible rewards you can get actually they are highly likely that you're going to get them some talent books some heroes wit so here's the event details we're not going to go much into what these are but there's three basically parts of this event the unknown stars the star of deceitful dreams and the star of destiny and as you all know if you go down here to the bottom right the prison's pack you gotta join the pack in order to be able to join this pack you have to complete the quest star of destiny then you have to accumulate completions of the meteorite remains salvage challenge you get to just do 14 of those all right ideally you want to do 30 so you'll pretty much hands down get this done and then accumulate completions of the fallen star challenge seven you're gonna do more than seven because you want that crown all right and then now we're just gonna enter the pack or right? we want to be a prison or pack person <laughs> no. all right and then there you guys have it there you get to get official so if you did not have official then now would have been the best time to actually have done the event or join the game but if you did miss out on it hopefully you do get official in the future or another event will come where you can actually you know like see right here get a free character well it's technically free right right so yeah this is actually really really cool okay so now that you've already claimed your official reward or you, you claimed your free character uh here this is unknown stars there's nothing to see here and then here in star of deceitful dreams are right, we gonna start here all right because you know this this if you don't claim this within the two hours and 50 minutes has left then you will not be able to claim them later it's different from the shop all right so if you do five salvage meteorites you're gonna get uh, basically everyone everyone there's like six of these and they're gonna give you all 30 primo gems each that's basically a total of 180 primo gems that's that's good all right and then you get 20,000 mora per of these as well so that's basically saying that you get a free 120,000 more that's also really good and then here we go here's the good stuff so this this is the slime secretions the slime secretions is a um character ascension material for you got lisa venti right uh, Shangling and Zhongli. So if you have any one of those characters or something in my eye, then this is the material you, you want to get. All right. So yeah, you're gonna get this. All right. And then you got the stained mask. So the stained mask is for characters, um, for Chongyun, Jin. All right. Noeli, Razor. All right. You got Lumin or Aether, whichever you chose, and then Xingqiu. And then uh, for the total. Wait. Actually, let's claim these while we talk. Okay. All right, so yeah, we got that. Boom. And then here is the stained mask. And then for the sealed scrolls, the sealed scrolls is for character for Barbara Klee Chi Chi. And that's it for now. And then you got these, what are these? Sharp arrowheads. So the sharp arrowheads are actually for, um, actually it's for Amber Fischl. All right, and Diona, so that's pretty cool. And then here is you got some silver raven insignias. These insignias are actually for Bedo. You got Bennett, Kaya, and the upcoming Shenyan. So that's actually pretty cool. And then we got the last but not the least, your sergeant's insignia. I know, I know what this is for. This is for Diluc, right, and Tartalia. I have both of them, so I really need a lot of these. And I, to think it's the last one, right? To think it's the last one because, you know, the Tartali event is currently going on right now. And then it's also for Ning Wang. So, yeah, there you go. Really worth it. You have to do 
30, 17 of these anyway, or 14, and then just do another 16, you can get this stuff in the, the max rewards, which is also really good. Really good. And then, you know, for this Star of Destiny, this is still going to be ongoing for the next three hours. If you still need more of these Fading Stars Essence, which we'll actually go into. I have 708 of them right now, and... 1793 this is basically enough to literally buy out the event shop all right so we're gonna start off with fading stars might okay we're gonna just go up here and just discuss what these are for so the agnigatus agate fragnate these are basically for all your pyro characters out there so they luke klee bennett right Xinyan in the future all right and then this is the vernal lazarite fragment i don't know how to pronounce these but these are for your hydro characters so we're talking tartalia barbara shinchu and then you got your Varjaz amethyst fragments as with the name implies i guess you know it's for official all right, Beido. All right, you've got a Kaching. All right, you have a Yuda turquoise fragment. These are for Anemo characters, you know, like Jean, Benti, Sucrose. So you get that, and then you get your Shivada Jade a fragment. These are for your Cryo characters. So we're talking Chichi, Kaya, Diona. Then after that, we have your Prith. Prithivia Topaz Fragments, uh, which is for your Geo characters, so like Noeli, Zhongli in the future, uh, Ning Wang, and then that's that's pretty much that. And then you have your Adventures Experience, so this is really good because you know they're one per pop, you get 150 of them, that's pretty much a lot of Adventures Experience, so this is definitely worth getting, you know, this is to you know level up your characters to hopefully reach. 90 right right you know how hard these are to get so yeah definitely worth buying out in the shop and then heroes with now this is the good stuff all right they cost four mites but you get 150 of them as well that's a lot that costs 600 in total and yeah we're gonna definitely buy that out and then for mora this is technically 10,000 times 250 we'll actually go on the map about that later and that's basically yeah this is the probably the most expensive one in the shop so yeah we're gonna exchange that here for that i'll go discuss about stuff later after this stuff being i'll just i'll just show you and then here's mora so if you have anything else the dump unlocks after you purchase mora right that's interesting so it unlocks after you purchase more i already did purchase the mora so i guess we're gonna have to okay oh right right mora yeah, so I guess I did not want to buy up the Mora because it's just like, you know, probably I just didn't need it. So yeah, so this unlocks after you buy out this, but I didn't. All right, I just realized that. Okay, so 44 more to go. I'm like, if I wanted to, I would, but I won't. All right, I'm good on Mora. All right, you, you, can, you can get that over time. So fading star, wait, actually, I'm not yet done here. All right, so I have a spreadsheet that I prepared. Let's go there really quick. So to go into more detail, I'm going to go over this really quick. So the unknown star meteorites basically just pick up one mite each time you pick up. So there's a quest that you have to actually pick up seven of them each. Actually, let me just show you really quick. So here it's an unknown star. So actually you can't see it, but there's six locations where you have to actually pick up seven meteorites. It's part of the quest. So if you actually do that, you'll accomplish that and then you'll actually get amount of total amount of 42 might alone. Okay. Uh, but you know, in each location and there's six locations, you can get to, uh, about 20 ish. So assuming you get all 20 because you know, you're free to play and then you know, it's pretty really easy to get. You just follow and then there's like, it's on the map. You know what it is if you've played it, right? And then that's 120. So this is the math behind that. And then this is the second event, the event that we all know as a star of the state full dreams where you get pretty much 35. I was world level three at the time. All right. So the higher the world level, the better rewards. I got 35 might per 20 resin. All right. So if you do the math, all right. So if you buy like, say there's three pyro fragments, you can get 12, they're 12 a piece. So that's basically 36 total. So that's basically how that works out. That means per resin cost, I'm like the math behind this is... Yeah, you know, the total divided by resin, the reward multiplied by resin. That's when you, that's about 20.57 resin. I'm like, you could round that off to 21 if you want to, but you know, this is, this is the math. This is the raw math. Uh, this is probably more dissimilar. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, you do that. So all of this costs 20 
resin each to buy out and then you know the adventurer's xp is 85.71 resin so and then the hero's weight is 342.86 resin so we're, we're looking at a total of 1,003.43 resin to buy out the shop all right in my case i wasn't able to buy out the shop because i did not go for the mora apparently so if you don't go for the mora then it's really cheaper all right because you know resin you could probably use your resin elsewhere mora is probably something you might need if you really need the mora and i know everyone needs the mora right <laughs> especially late game uh but if you want to save your resin you know to farm artifacts and you know depending on what your priority is then you can probably skip the mora all right it's up to you all right it's good value though to go for it so but you know to buy out all 250 of it that's 571 resin just for 2.5 million mora so yeah you have to think really hard about that but by the time you actually try to think about it the event's already done so it really doesn't matter but again the shop should still be open by the time this video is uploaded so if you still were you know doing what i did by just holding off on purchasing all these stuff in the shop then this is just a quick well not really a, a comprehensive guide so to speak all right so and then assuming you get 180 resin per day because you know you literally just get you know free to play you get 180 resin per day all right it does cap at 160 but then you it, it if you do the math it's 180 that's why you don't have to you don't you don't cap your resin all right always make sure it's being refreshed so if you do the math so you need a total of 17 1766 of this stuff right to buy out the shop that means oh did i do my math i guess i did anyway uh lol then it would take you about 5.57 days to finish this out at world level three so the higher the world level again you'll actually be able to bank more resin per game all right so yeah we're, we'll talk about yeah that's that's pretty much it all right now moving on to fading stars essence this is a really good shop so you got guide to freedom and then philosophies of freedom you definitely want to buy these out because these aren't easy to <laughs> to farm especially on certain days all right so you get these from domains right and then it's and then you use resin as well pretty much so for this right it, it, it gets like i will we'll go into the details later but you know the philosophies of freedom right so this is the freedom run all right these are for your characters such as let's see amber barbara clee sucrose lumen and aether the you know the main characters and uh, tabibito san all right tartalia and diona so yeah this is what you're gonna need for those characters so guide of resistance these are for your one second so yeah guide philosophies of resistance and guide to resistance they're pretty much the same you know three of the guides equals to one philosophy so basically that's the math behind that these are for your bennett's <laughs> your bennett is for bennett diluc d jean mona noelle and razor so that's cool and then you also get you can buy up to 12 guides to ballads pretty much the this one and then you can get up to four philosophies of ballads let me guess venti right the ballads right right and i was right all right so it's for venti official uh you got kaya mona right so that's cool all right then guide to prosperity so if you guys didn't know the guide to prosperity and the philosophies of prosperity remember guys these are talent level books so you know this is to level up your talents from one to two two to three three to four uh like you know the e the q if you're playing on pc so the prosper the philosophies of prosperity these are for kaching uh ningwang chi chi right so yeah if you need those buy those ideally you want to buy everything out because you know in the, you know if we're thinking long term might as well be safe than sorry it's good to have these in advance it's never wrong so yeah when this event when events are out it's most likely ideally to go in because of the if the efficiency no the value that you get so the philosophies and the guide to diligence are uh, these are for your chong yuns which is actually gonna be coming out in the next banner shangling and yeah that's that's pretty much what these books are for now so i'm like if you're focusing on either chong yun or shangling i'm like 
there's no need to overspread yourself. Go all out and decide which one you want to choose to level up, right? Okay, so you got Guide to Gold. Guide to Gold, as you can see by the name Gold, we're, we're, we already know it's going to go on Zhongling, right? So yeah, Guide to Gold is going to be Zhongling, Zhongli, or Zhongli, uh, Beidou, and Xingqiu, and then also Xinyan. So yeah, these two new characters that are going to be coming up in the next banner after Tartalia are going to actually need this talent book. And then here is the cream de la crop. <laughs> All right, so your crown of sagehood, you can only get one of these during the event. And this the crown of sagehood is actually a talent upgrade material to level 10. So yeah, yeah if you ever ideally in my case, I'm actually going to hold on to this and then I'm going to choose really wisely who I want to pick this on. Actually, I might even save this because we don't know how often we're going to actually get these Crown of Sages. So my advice to you is just don't use it. I just, just imagine that you missed the official event. But if you're really sure, you're really sure that this character that you're playing right now is just your favorite character both in raw power and gameplay. And then the talent because you can only choose one of three talents to level up right away. And you only get one. Then you know that talent is actually going to really help the character. It will benefit that character a lot. Then go for it, all right. But for me, I'm saving the crown of sagehood for future characters. All right, um, and I want to I want to save at least a good amount, and see what happens from there on. So yeah, we got the crown of sagehood, and you still have six days, two hours to do so as well, or uh, as of recording, and then. Anything else left, you get you buy the Mystic Enhancement Ore. I'm like, you can't buy the Refined Ore until you buy out the Mystic Enhancement Ore. So at least it's good that they have that warning up. So that they tell you that, no, no, buy this. Alright, so this is actually good value. But it's also kind of a trap technically because you don't want to buy out the Mystic Enhancement Ore. Because, you know, you can farm this really you just farm their crystal chunks and then convert it to mystic enhancement or but if you're a whale then by all means go for it all right and then yeah that's that's pretty much this part and then we'll go into the map so here's my google sheet as, as you guys can see it's all messed up but yeah it is what it is you can change the world level here and then it automatically yeah so basically at world level five you're getting 44 essence that's really really good stuff at world level four it's 38 at three it's 32 at I don't know what 2 is. But I was at world level 3 when I started. But we're going to for the for convenience sake. Because I also ended it in world level 4. To get the most bang for your buck. So anyway. If you were at world level 4. It will have taken you 50.53 resin. Just to buy the guide to freedom. And everything else here. As you can see. All of this. Alright. Each line costs 50.53 resin. Because technically. You're getting 12 of these at the price of 4 and you're getting 4 of these at the price of 12. So it's technically pretty much the same. All right, But it's a good that they made that option because you can't use purple talent books right off the bat. Especially if you're starting a new character, you need the blue ones as well. Also the green ones. So that is good that they did it this way for for us to have options. Because you can always technically upgrade these in advance. All right? You know, it would have been fine if they also gave us like... Yeah, never mind. This is good. All right, what they did here is good. So, in total, it would have taken you about 722.11 resin, which will take you about 4.01 days, assuming you're utilizing all the 180 resin you get per day for free. All right, so this is worth looking at a total of 686 essence to buy out the shop, excluding the Mystic Enhancement Ore. Right? Um, if you want to buy the Mystic Enhancement Ore, which is... Honestly, I'm like, if you want to, then you could do 100. That's already 105 resin right there that you could use elsewhere. But, you know, that bumps up the total to 827.37 resin. That's 786 essence that you will need. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to dump some extra left with fine enhancement ore. So, but I did not go for that. And hopefully you didn't too. All right. But if you're watching this video, uh, the the things cost for you the things. The Star of Destiny event, you know, the big meteorite, it's 40 resin per challenge that gives you 38 resin or essence as a reward. So that's the math behind that. It scales with world level as I showed you a while ago. 
all of this detail is not important so yeah that's pretty much the math behind this i should have probably done this video at the start of the event but you know it's better late than never right so at least for those of you who missed the event will know what you missed out on <laughs> all right so event details um like i said i put the days here for a reason so that we can actually have a, a big picture so Unknown star started on November 16th, right? You know, where you pick up one meter, right? And then Star of Deceitful Dreams, which is, you know, this reward right here where you get 35 uh, might per 20 resin. That started four days later. No, two days later. On the 18th of November, 2020. And then Star of Destiny started on the 23rd, right? So from 18 to 23rd, that's pretty much saying five days, right? You had five days, right? The event takes about 5.57 days. If you use fragile resin, which I highly, I mean, condensed resin, which hopefully you didn't, or fragile resin, you would have knocked this out faster. But free to play wise, you would have been able to finish it regardless. By the time that Star of Destiny came, you know, the big one meter, right? Where, where it takes like 40 resin to get 38 essence, depending on your world level. Then that would have hit, and then that actually lasted a good seven days, right? So yeah, the whole duration of this event is 14 days. And then if you're a free-to-play player and you started when the event started, you could have knocked out, you bought out everything in the shop with your resin, free-to-play, in just 10 days, right? So they give you actually a four-day allowance to mess up or to skip a day and whatnot. And if you started late, like four days late, if you started on the 20th, then you probably still would have made it. Might have been cutting it really close, but it's still pretty much doable. So, you know, for you all free to plays out there, then that's pretty much it. You'll be spending a total of 1,725.53 resin during the duration of the event. Well, depending on what you're going for, especially if you want to buy it tomorrow. If you don't want to buy it tomorrow, it's really it just it, it drops down relatively a lot like 1154 to 1725 so yeah the more here that's expensive if you want to buy this out but yeah and then the, yeah the shop's gonna end on december 6 2020 so by the time you're watching this video probably it might be december 1 then yeah you have until december 6 to buy out everything in the shop all right oh mm -hmm. So there you guys have it, the Unreconciled Stars event. Hopefully you did find it useful. All right, this was pretty lengthy, but you know, as with most of my videos, they, they pretty much are. I'll try to shorten them more in the future. But yeah, that's the Unreconciled event. If you missed it, then it's okay. All right, there's gonna, there will always be another event in the future which you know which is really cool really cool all right uh, guys um make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you did like the video until next time let's see